Hey guys, welcome back to Lost Recovery. Today, I'm gonna show you a few techniques on how I actually find a lot of gold, and that's involving a drone. We send our drones up over beaches, and I look for low points. I'll park at the north end or south end, I'll get my drone up in the air, and I'll quickly scan the beach. This is a secret I've not really shown or even told anyone about. And it's why I'm so productive out there in finding gold. I found a low spot. I can't wait to hit it. Let's gear up and get out there. See you in the water, guys. Cheers. I love metal detecting over these sandstone rocky outcrops. Check it out. Nice deep cracks and crevices. Perfect for catching gold. And they are only lightly covered with sand. Now we do find a lot of hooks and sinkers in these locations as well. So you do got to take care when you are banning the sand away. But there's gold out here and we will find it. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
I don't know how I always end up in garden. We're over at North Sydney now, there is spiders everywhere. Ants nests, I just bumped into him getting bitten by a bull ant. He's lost a black somewhere in the bush behind us. What I have found so far, and it's a lucky charm too, check this out. Hey little fella, he's actually got some metal for him too. Lucky little garden man got buried. What is that? An old light. Pegs. Rusty metal. Nuts and bolts are a common one. This one here is an old hair clip. Maybe an old bullet shell. Pretty interesting. So far I've done the top section here and it has actually come off. I won't show you his property, but it's come off his balcony just above us. I did bring the Nox 800. You're not gonna punch through a bush like that. There's just no way. X Pointer Pro. This is what I use for a lot of gardens and we will find it. Let's get back into it. Get a pipe in there. We really gotta get in the bushes here. Welcome to Australia. Spiders, anything that can bite you will bite you here. Mosquitoes. Got something here, what's that? Definitely in the flick zone. It could be what we're looking for. It's only been lost two days ago, so I'm not digging for anything. Surface targets. Yeah, got something there. I guess it's gonna be a bit of rusty old metal. There you go, here. The pegs, I think they are. He's got a few water lines going down through the ferns. We're gonna be bumping into a lot of leaves. Let's keep going. Mosquitoes love me. really steep incline. Ring has fallen from above. Caught a roll, possibly roll. Yeah, metal wire fence just there. That's not gonna help. If we just look down and around here. There's a very steep incline. Are you seeing what I'm saying? Woo! Can you see that guys? I'm gonna zoom in. Okay, I'm gonna bring you closer to it. I can't get down to it right now. I'm gonna zoom in for you. Tell me if you can see it. Can you see anything there guys? Go through the fence. Right there. You cheeky little boy. I knew I'd find it. Found something, what do you reckon guys? Did you see that? Was it a ring or not? I don't know. Is it alright if you're on YouTube? Yeah. So wait. What's your name, buddy? Jet. Jet. That's a cool name. Jet and Andrew. And Andrew's lost his ring. What was it? About two, three days ago? Yeah. Yeah. Two days ago. Come with me, Andrew. Yeah. Here now. It had to be past this fence. I have not moved it. I'd like to give the owners the opportunity to find their property somewhere there. Oh, I can see it. Just near the irrigation pipe. Cheeky little bugger right yeah. there. Unbelievable. Yeah, little beauty. Legend. <laughs> That's it's awesome. There you go, Andrew. Thanks so much. No worries, Thank mate. You, Michael. You're yeah. a legend. Find out. Way to get out of here. <laughs>
A little loose bit. No, it gets stuck in your knuckle. Yeah, but it's, it's a good thing the wife doesn't watch YouTube because she'll never know I lost it. There you oh, go. no way. <laughs> you sneaky that. bugger. He's a smart man. That's why I keep telling you guys, if you lose anything, don't tell your husband or your wife. Come see me first. <laughs> What's your wife's name? Candace. Candace, we got a good surprise for you coming up very soon. We're on the gold. What do you got? Two, four, six, eight dollars, nine dollars, fifty, fifty-five, seventy-five, seventy-six cents. Handful of sinkers, not too bad. Beautiful 925 silver ring. Check it out. She's been down there forever. Leave a comment down below how long you think she's been down in the ocean for. She's a little bit crusty. Next up we have oh. Beautiful 18 yellow carat gold electroplated Raymond Bile watch. Estimated between 1500 and 2000 when in good condition. I'm going to show you how I clean this watch up in just a moment. Check this out. That's our finds for today. Why were you flicking your hands exactly? There was a dangerous uh, spider on my finger and I flicked it. Off went the wedding ring. May have been a garden spider though, <laughs> or a house spider. We'll tell you why. It was a funnel web spider. It wasn't a daddy long leg. That's right. I'll survive, <laughs> you know, that's the main thing. Nice yeah. to meet you. Legend. Have Thanks a good so one. Much. Appreciate it. No worries. What a crazy day. 18 carat yellow gold electroplated Raymond Vial watch. Estimated around $1,500 to $2,000. Now we're heading out to Taronga Zoo. I want you guys to join us. Drop a thumbs up if you enjoy the video. I'm going to be taking Layla and Noah to see all the elephants and the lions and Tigers, join us. Mummy and Daddy's pizza ready yet? No. Ah. No. Good work, Layla. More sauce. Oh, I love you, Bubby. How's Noah going? Ah. Wow. What have we got for toppings? Mmm, corn. Yum. Bye, Ten. Pineapple. Yummy. I love you. Chimpanzees like this. Are they a monkey or a primate? A primate. Good boy. Ah. He's on the rock. You see? Daddy! Daddy! Yeah? No. Oh, wow. Check us out on Patreon for just a dollar a month. You guys keep us out there smashing trash and finding awesome treasures for their rightful owners. We're sending you guys metal detectors of your choice every single month christmas 2022 we're sending one of our patrons a brand new blue dive system of your choice if you want to do your shallow water diving i recommend the blue nemo if you're an ex-scuba diver and you want to go into those deeper waters swim with the sharks no worries i have you covered too we have the blue nomad dying down nine meters for up to 60 minutes i've given up my scuba tanks many years ago using these systems have just changed my life when it comes to underwater treasure hunting that's for you mate x pointer pro oh wow i use the mine lab good pinpointer I, I want to tie this one that's the funny thing i've been seeing it pro. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely yeah.